David Benjamin from HealthyWildInFree.com. Today I want to share with you the top three signs and symptoms of vitamin B1 deficiency, otherwise known as thiamine. Now, vitamin B1 is responsible for uh, many different functions throughout the body, but specifically, uh, it converts carbohydrates into energy. So uh, all the carbohydrates in your diet, whether from fruit or uh, any other carb sources, it's going to turn that into energy in your body. And if you're deficient in vitamin B1, your body's going to have a hard time generating energy and having vitality and just energy to move and, and exercise and be healthy in general. So uh, just like the other B vitamins, the other uh, family of B vitamins, B1, uh, B6, B12, B7, uh, a lot of the B vitamins are beneficial and helpful in producing energy and energy production uh, processes within the body. So uh, naturally, some of the top signs and symptoms of vitamin B1 deficiency have to do with having low amount of energy. So the very first sign, uh, and, and definitely one of the largest symptoms of vitamin B1 deficiency, is chronic fatigue. If you have chronic fatigue, and fatigue is a regular part of your life, there's a very good chance you're deficient in vitamin B1, as well as other B vitamins as well, probably. Uh, so uh, that's a first, one of the first signs and symptoms. The second sign is gut issues. Vitamin B1 is also responsible for helping uh, form mucous membranes within the body. So uh, if you have gut issues, uh, it could be a variety of gut issues, but that mucous membrane keeps the gut healthy, strong, and operating properly. And if you have any gut issues, vitamin B1 could be one of the culprits for that. And the third uh, sign or symptom of uh, vitamin B1 deficiency is neurological and or muscle degeneration, really both. Uh, because what happens is when your body, uh, B1, your body doesn't have enough uh, vitamin B1, your muscles, which need vitamin B1 to produce, and your neurological system as well, are weakened uh, dramatically and they start to degenerate actually. So it's no wonder why chronic fatigue is one of the largest signs and, and uh, issues with people that have vitamin B1 deficiencies because their nervous system and their muscles just get weaker and weaker and they start to degenerate. So you want to make sure to get vitamin B1 in your diet because vitamin B1 is very important for your chronic, if you have chronic fatigue to keep those energy levels high, to keep your, uh, your muscles and your, your neurological system, your nervous system healthy, to keep the mucous membranes healthy so your gut stays healthy. And there are also other signs of vitamin B1 deficiency beyond those three signs. Uh, vitamin B1 is uh, beneficial for helping your lungs to stay, uh, to stay clear of congestion. It's also beneficial, beneficial for your cardiovascular health, your lung health, your heart health. If you have a vitamin B1 deficiency, your heart rate might beat faster than it should. So that could be a sign as well if your lungs or heart, uh, there's some irregular, uh, irregular irregularities there. That's a tough word. Irregularities there. Uh, there may be a sign of a vitamin B1 deficiency. And also your eye health, believe it or not. Uh, keeping your eyes uh, strong and uh, keeping them uh, healthy is an important sign of, of uh, keeping vitamin B1 in your diet. And if you have a deficiency in vitamin B1, other known once again as thiamine, you could have uh, degenerating eyes. But the real, the real top signs, the ones that are going to be the most obvious to you, are chronic fatigue, degeneration of your muscles and neurological system, just feeling weak and just not having the energy to lift and stand up and move and pick things up and move. Really, that's the, the largest uh, telltale sign of a vitamin B1 deficiency. But then also if you have gut issues and or um, cardiovascular lung congestion issues, uh, a heartbeat that beats too fast, and then uh, maybe some, some eye health issues in there. But uh, vitamin B1, uh, it's really easy to get in your diet. You just have to make sure uh, to eat green peas, asparagus, Brussels sprouts, uh, sesame seeds, and sunflower seeds. Those are the top, top five sources, uh, or top, top of the, five of the top sources of uh, vitamin B1 uh, that you can get in your diet. Once again, it's Brussels sprouts, uh, green peas, sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, and asparagus. So uh, eat those foods, uh, preferably organic of course, get those foods in your diet and then uh, you know, you're gonna get those vitamin B1 levels up so that you can have more energy, your neurological system and your muscles can start to regenerate and be healthy and, you, and it'll start helping those carbohydrates that you consume in your diet convert to energy again so that you can have energy, vitality, and feel healthy. So make sure to get vitamin B1 in your diet. There's a, it's, it's really easy to become deficient in different nutrition and you know vitamins and minerals if you don't pay attention to your diet and what you're eating and make sure to get plenty of fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds and sprouts and, and uh, good 
organic free range pastured uh, meat and dairy if that's something you choose to to eat uh, just eat healthy and you will have these in your diet also one more quick note on vitamin b1 alcoholism is a uh, something that contributes to vitamin b1 deficiency so if you do drink a lot of alcohol make sure to reduce your alcohol or just completely eliminate it and then include those foods in your diet because that will speed up the process of your vitamin b1 deficiency uh, or speed up the process of in, inducing more vitamin b1 in your body to feel more vitality and health and get all the benefits of vitamin b1 having energy converting carbs into energy uh, like it should and gut health and eye health and cardiovascular health muscle and nervous system health and all the other benefits so make sure you get more vitamin b1 in your diet for more information on vitamin b1 the signs and symptoms the medical terminology associated with vitamin b1 deficiency and the other uh, effects of it as well as a list of more foods that have vitamin b1 in them Make sure to click the link right below this video if you're on YouTube or if you're on my site, it'll be right below this video. Uh, and all this will be posted on healthywildandfree.com. So thanks so much for your time. This is David Benjamin. D David Benjamin, I'm talking way too fast. I need to slow down. From healthywildandfree.com. Please like this video, favorite, comment, and share it. And I will see you in the next video. Make sure to live healthy, wild, and free. Bye.